Greetings. Today I want to elaborate on something I should have done a long time ago and that is that I don't really care about your ideology, your political beliefs, your religion. Instead I want you to post physique and admire my aesthetic physique. I have grown quite tired of purity spiraling guys who want to come into a certain community so we have can take some sort of nationalist, he comes into a nationalist community online and he, because he doesn't really have anywhere else to go and what does he do? Yes, he wants to feel embraced by that community so he starts purity spiraling. He doesn't really do anything except for, you know, talking about having the exact right views on exactly everything, being as pure as possible in every single regard. Now, of course, this is easy to do. You just have to have a set of opinions and post about them. So I say, you know what, I don't care in the least if you're the most ideo ideologically pure individual ever. I want you to post your physique so I can see how pure your dedication is. Same thing if we're talking about Christians and pagans. You have some pagans who the only thing they do is they're looking for a community. So they go into a pagan community online. The only thing they do is bash Christianity. Say like, oh, I'm the most radical anti-Christian guy. So therefore I have a place in this movement. This is who I am. And I say, post physique. I don't care how radical and edgy you think you are. Post physique instead. In the same thing when you have this... Christian guys who post in closed Christian or Catholic groups on Facebook or whatever it might be. I say the same thing. You can post about how dedicated you are to Christ or to Catholicism or whatever. I don't care. I don't care in the least. Post your physique. Having a set of opinions, it's easy. Posting about said opinions is easy. Posting your physique is not easy. So that's why I want you to do it. So don't come to me arguing about stuff if you're not willing to back it up by actually posting who you are. Post your physique. You can be anonymous because you don't need to dox yourself, but you need to dox your physique at least. Then I can see, are you a pudgy, skinny fat guy posting about Imperium here and strength there and you can't back it up with your physique? Yeah, I don't really care about you, to be honest. Now, of course, I realize not all can worship in the Temple of Iron, not everyone can train uh, various cool sports. That's fine, I make an exception if you have broken your back or if you have some sort of condition that makes you unable to train hard, which makes you unable to post physique because of reasons. But for everyone else, you don't need to be a genetic superman or you don't need to be on steroids to get to a good level to have a good physique viewing yourself as it's hopeless yeah of course then you won't go anywhere because then you are in a faulty state of mind but everyone can look good if you train simple as that you don't need to be an outlier in terms of muscle you just need to have a decent amount of mass on you and that is achievable in a few years for the absolute majority of guys. And again, I'm not talking about you need to look like some Belgian blue monstrosity. You can look like Michelangelo's David or something like that. You can look like a statue of Achilles. That is what we're about. And also I posted on Instagram yesterday about Christianity and paganism. And there was some pudgy guy saying that, oh, you're trying to appease everyone. I just have one thing to say to you. Hombre, I am a public enemy. I'm not trying to appease anyone. If you don't have any skin in the game, you're not the one to talk. So show some humility before that fact. If you aren't taking the heat, having skin in the game yourself, then don't comment about me trying to appease people. I'm very much not trying to appease people. That is why I'm demonetized. That is why they're writing hit pieces on me in the media. That is not trying to appease people, that is trying to make a difference where it matters. And it does matter in promoting European culture, it doesn't matter in promoting Christianity or paganism. That conflict is just a distraction. But anyway, that was just a tangent. What I want to say is that meeting gains is what you have to do. And you have to start admiring yourself and you have to start admiring other guys who actually put in the work. Because it's not only about the physical, but you know, this page, this... YouTube channel has been about self-improvement for a long time and I want to attract other guys who are into self-improvement because I don't want a lot of negative guys coming in, oh, who can hate the most, who can hate this 
or that the most, I want to see who is willing to put in the most work to work for something, instead of just having the right opinions, purity spiraling. If you have some guys who are purity spiraling, yes, it is possible because they don't really do anything. If you want to purity spiral, just sit down, don't say anything, don't do anything. There you have the perfect ideological purity, if you don't do anything at all. Now, of course, my ideology, which is not an ideology, but a way of life, a way of bettering yourself, the dauntless lifestyle, you have to post physique. So you see, you can't come to me and say, oh, I'm such a great fan and you don't train. Of course, unless you have some sort of condition which makes you unable to train. But for most of you younger guys who are able-bodied, you have to train. Otherwise, you are uh, not adhering to the teachings. Simple as that. Now I want to show you something of ultimate power and glory. Boom. Have you seen a more iconic duo? Comment below if you have. I haven't. This is the greatest duo of all time. And I want to say to you, this is not about adhering to an ideology, yet again, or a political program or a religion. You have to live it. You have to live a lifestyle. This is motivation. This is also motivation for you to embark upon the quest of glory. That is what I care about. So don't come to me and pretend that we're in the same movement if you don't do your absolute best to be the best individual you can be. If you're not into getting better, lifting weights for example, if you're not into that, but you try to claim that we're somehow in a similar movement, we're not. Simple as that. I have myself here spreading a good message, a good set of teachings, heavily revolving around seeking the truth and empowering yourself via self-improvement. If you don't want to do that, yeah, then we're not on the same page. I'm not on the same movement as you are. So you can be some sort of ultra edgy guy who complains about everything and who attacks everything or, or think you attack everything, but it has nothing to do with me. So, to conclude, post physique, I don't care about your ideology. I don't care about how pure your ideology or your political beliefs or your spiritual beliefs are. I don't care. Post physique. And also express admiration for my juiciness. Now lastly, to end this video on a positive note, if you are struggling in the deadlifts, if you are trying to get to a higher strength in your deadlifts, incorporate more squats in it because it has a great carryover effect. So if you get stronger in the squats, you get stronger in the deadlift. So that was my profound thoughts for the day. Good times, good times. So, thank you for watching. XXO. Boom.